Hello everyone, this is Joseph Lorenzo, and I'm here to talk to you about a new product that has really changed my life and changed the way I cook in my kitchen. It's called the Toyama Indoor Grill. And I have really just been having a wonderful time making these healthy, delicious, beautiful meals on my Toyama Indoor Grill. So I decided to share with everybody uh, what I've been doing, what I've been experiencing here all with my Toyama because uh, the food is uh, so delicious. And one of my favorite things is, is grilled and the grilled flavor indoors without all the fuss on a non-stick grill that you just wipe down afterwards and I'm so excited and so we're going to share with you my Toyama grill secrets and you see I even used it for Thanksgiving I had grilled turkey breast with all the fixings so I'll be with you a bachelor moment. number two <laughs> oh, well he would make me create a a dog kind of mush 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 <laughs> hey everybody it's Joseph Lorenzo here in the kitchen where I spend most of my time each day. You know, I tell everybody I don't know why I'm not big as a house. All I ever do is think about food. But anyway, tonight is a special night and we're going to make something that is one of my favorite things to make. And since it's a holiday, we're going to make my special steak and lobster. Mmm, and boy is that good. And tonight, I'm going to be making, making the steak and lobster on my brand new Toyama Indoor Grill. And as I said in the voiceover, you know, this $35 product has really changed the way I cook in my kitchen. So let's get started. I want you to see how wonderful it is, how simple it is, and I'm going to share with you some of my Toyama Indoor Grilling secrets. So let's get started. Okay, the first thing we're going to do over here is I've got some wonderful things, some ingredients that just go, you just put right on the grill, you know. One of the things I write about in, in one of the books that I wrote about cooking is man cook, you know, where we don't want to cook or chop or peel. So this is really kind of a uh, uh, man cook. We're just going to go and we're going to start with this beautiful, beautiful, huge green chili. This pepper. You just put it right on the grill and we're going to cook it right alongside of that steak. I have a, a T-boned ribeye marinating in the refrigerator in lemon juice. And my mom says, you, you, you use lemon on beef? I said, yes, even on beef. And you see, I don't cook with any oil in my, in my kitchen. No oil at all. All I use is lemon. So tonight you're going to see how I take this wonderful full whole chili. You see, we're just going to come and place it right here on the grill. Just place it right there on the grill. Okay? Then, I've got this wonderful, wonderful lobster tail here that I got at uh, a seafood market right down the street here. And you see, this is wonderful. One of the wonderful things about uh, living where I live here in Hollywood is the markets and the, the, the fresh things, the fresh fish and the fresh vegetables and the exotic things that you can find like right here in my neighborhood. So this is a nice lobster tail from right downstairs literally. So now this is gonna go right on the grill too. Right next to that hot chili. Okay, you see that? And there's even a little sizzle. And you see, I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle just a little lemon juice. Just a little, little lemon juice to get that just, you know, going. And so the next step, and this is really fun. This is really easy. Now you do have to do one slice on this. But you see, what I do is I take this lovely bell pepper here. And what I do is I just cut it right down like that. So it has like a little cup. And then I take that and I place that right on the grill. And then I squeeze a nice amount of lemon juice right in that cup and let that grill. And you see if there's a lemon seed, you just take that, get it out of there, and it goes right into the pan, right off the grill. And there's water in the pan that can go there. 
And so that was the this orange, beautiful one. So we're gonna do the same thing. And you know, now I'm really having fun. Yeah, I'm gonna do the same thing. We're gonna take this nice red one and we're gonna make a nice cut here, just like that. Uh-huh. And we're gonna get that same thing. We're gonna get a bowl. Uh-huh. There's our old bowl. You see that? We're gonna take that bowl and we're gonna put it right on the grill. And then we're gonna take this lemon and we're gonna squeeze nice lemon juice right inside it. And you see there was a lemon seed that pounced and it bounced and pounced right into the pan. And it really doesn't matter. So the next thing that we're gonna do is like I said, this is man cook. I've got a beautiful red onion here that I used actually last night, but I've got two big pieces that I'm just gonna take, bam, right on the grill. Boom, right on the grill. And I'm gonna remove some of this uh, red uh, outer layer. And then the same thing with them. They get a nice little spritz of lemon juice. Mmm, that's beginning to smell good already. And now, uh, I'm going to take a little sip of my fruit smoothie here. Mmm. You know, I try to uh, have a fruit smoothie every day, too. So anyway, uh, like I said in the Bachelor number one thing, you know, we're not going to be making any mush, 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 mush here tonight. But we're making something much tastier than that. And here we go. I've got this marinating in the refrigerator. This is the taste of the holiday. And here it comes right here. It's been marinating in the refrigerator. Mm-hmm. In lemon juice. Been marinating in the refrigerator in lemon juice. Mm-hmm. And we're going to take that. We're going to place that right on the Mm -hmm. I hope you can all see that. Right. And you see, that's it. It's pretty simple. Now what we do is we just let it grill. Let it grill, let it grill. Let it grill, let it grill. Oh, let it grill. All right, there it is. So we're going to be back in a little bit. We're going to let that grill, and we're going to keep an eye on it. This is Joseph Lorenzo in the kitchen, and we'll be back in a minute. And we are back. It's Joseph Lorenzo in the kitchen and we're celebrating this holiday season you know and being grateful for all of the wonderful things that happened in 2017, 2017 and all of the non-wonderful things that happened in 2017 as well so we're looking forward now and we're giving thanks and we're giving praise that you know we're moving into 2018 we have a fresh start and as they say in the movies you know back to one all right, so, um, you know, I was so busy explaining to you about the secrets of my grilling, and I forgot one really uh, important ingredient. It's important for me because they're my favorite on the grill, and they're pum frites, uh, little shoestring potatoes. So that's one of the things that uh, I added. I added uh, a few shoestring potatoes around the steak, and the tail and the vegetables, they are all just to grow them up. And I'm gonna see if we can get a nice uh, shot. Mmm. Mmm. This is a rose prosecco. And um, it is just really beautiful. It's sparkling in the glass. I hope you can, it does, it, um, now to me it looks a little yellow on the screen, but it's very pink and very pretty. So, um, I'm gonna see if we can, get a nice shot of all of this on the grill as it sort of sizzles. Let's see if we get a nice shot of it. Sizzling on that grill. Right, there it is. Mm-hmm. And so uh, I'm letting it grill a little longer 
and I'll flip that steak over. And let me see if I can be real handy here. I want to do this with my hand. I see, I'm just going to flip. You see, I just flip that pepper over. That's it. Everything else just stays grilling just like it is. I put a little barbecue sauce on top of that steak. So when I do flip it over, and you don't want that steak to cook too long. So this is all going to be done in just a minute. Mm-hmm. Sure is. So, and it is going to be delicious. So, you know... Like I said, you know, we're really so grateful for 2017, here's to 2018, and you know, I'd like to share a little musical message with you. Oh yeah, there it is, okay? And I think this is the perfect message. Let's take it nice and easy. It's gonna be so easy for us to fall in love. Hey, hey, baby, what's your hurry? Relax and don't you worry. We're gonna fall in love. We're on that road to romance, that's safe to say, but let's make all the stops along the way. And the problem now, of course, is to simply hold your horses. To rush would be a crime Because not so easy does it every time Mmm, smells good over here! Mmm! Woo! We're on that road to romance It's safe to say but let's make all the stops along the way. And the problem now, of course, is to simply hold your horses. To rush would be a crime. Becomes Nice and easy does it. Nice and easy does it every time. Nice and easy does it. Nice and easy does it. Nice and easy does it every time. Happy New Year, everybody. Yama Indoor Grill. The best $35 I've spent in all of 2017.